This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create clips that play back at variable speeds. But wouldn't it be nice if I could start these in normal speed and then slow them down to look at a particular way that they wiggle and then speed them back up again? That is called a speed ramp, and here's how this works. Select the clip, and let's go to a panel we haven't spent much time with, which is the Effect Control Panel. Inside the Effect Control Panel, and we'll be looking here a lot today, we can control the, the position of a clip, the opacity of a clip, but for this, I want to control time remapping. Time remapping allows me to change the speed of a clip during the playback of the clip, and here's how this works. This stopwatch icon means that it is in keyframe mode. To set a keyframe, you click this hexagon right here, and notice that it's gray. When you click it so the keyframe is set, it turns blue. A keyframe is a specific setting of a specific parameter at a specific point in time. It allows us to change settings during playback. A specific setting of a specific parameter for a specific point in time. Now, Notice that right now my clip is running at 100% speed. If I grab the line to the right after the keyframe and pull it down, I'm changing the speed after the keyframe to something slower. We'll make it really obvious, like 25%. And now as I play this clip, the fish starts swimming at normal speed. Swim and boom, they cut to a slower speed. Well, let's say that I want to have this clip then speed up. This playhead up here in the effect controls panel is the same as the playhead in the timeline. And again, I'm going to create a keyframe and drag the line to the right and have it go faster, say 150%. Now as I play this back, normal, boom, slow motion, and then it goes fast again in two, one, go. If you want to get rid of a keyframe, notice it's blue. Click it, makes the keyframe disappear. To move to the earlier keyframe, we this is the earlier one, this is the later one. If I want to make that one disappear, I can do that. If you want to get rid of all your keyframes at one time, click this blue button right there, and all the keyframes are removed. An interesting rule of thumb is speeds that get the smoothest playback below 100%, faster really doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of difference, but below 100%, the percentage should divide evenly into 200. So 100%, 66%, 50%, 40%, 33%, 25%, 20%, 15%, 10%, all those even divisors of 200 will provide much smoother playback than something that doesn't divide evenly into 200. Wouldn't it be nice if I could gently move into that slow motion as opposed to simply having it cut? And I do that with this. This allows me to create a ramp as it ramps from slow to fast or fast to slow. Now it's going to play at normal speed slow down to 20%, play at the slower speed until it gets to the next ramp, and then it's going to speed up to 150%. Here it comes, and go. And now they're floating off. These speed ramps are controlled by the separation in this keyframe up here. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing inside Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 284. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. 
Plus Premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.